The first person I ever called Godfather was Vito Corleone. I only met him a couple of times. I was just a soldier for the family back then. Times were tough. We were at war. Assassins even gunned down Vito. Sonny, his eldest, fought back while the Don recovered and paid the price. Michael, the youngest brother behind Fredo, took over the reins. He and Tom led a war against the five families. They pulled the strings, and my boss, Aldo Trapani, pulled the trigger. He's Michael's right-hand man now, running the family in New York. These days, opportunity is everywhere. But so are new families, fighting for their share. It took a man like Hyman Roth to get everyone to the table. We're gonna divide up Cuba, get richer than we ever could back in the States. This will be good for the family, and for me. My name is Dominic. Bring it here, let me see it. My age had better be correct. I am always accurate about my age. Me, look to 100, Mr. Roth. Congratulations. Cheers. Uh, to the house. Well, the doctors might disagree, but what do they know? <laughs> These are wonderful things we've achieved in Cuba. This government knows how to help business to encourage it. The hotels here are bigger and swankier than any of the rug joints we put up in Vegas. Not all of them. <laughs> Michael Corleone's accepted, of course. But the point I'm making is this, that now we have what we have always needed. Real partnership with the government. Salud. Cheers. Salud. And at the time of my retirement, I turn over all my interest in the Cuba operation to you, my partners. To the Corleone family and Aldo Trapani, the Hotel Capri. Gotcha. The Nationale will go to Rico Granados and the Sevilla Biltmore to Samuel Mangano, here with us all the way from Sicily. The rest of you will also share in handling my non-casino operations. Gentlemen, rebels and petty criminals are Cuba's past. We are its future. Lafayette. Gendai, salute! What's on your mind, Dominic? How are you enjoying Cuba? It's great, Michael. I like the little things here, you know? Nice change of pace from New York. That's good. When this deal is done, we're gonna do great things in this country. Tomorrow's a new year, my friend. The start of a new future for the Corleone family. Salud. To the future. By the way, where did Aldo go? He went downstairs for the New Year celebration. We should talk to him. Make sure everything is set for tomorrow's meeting. Talk to Aldo. Make sure everything's okay for tomorrow. I don't want anything to go wrong. Your brother is making the right decisions, Fredo. I know. Like You're dominant, right? right? All those underboss in New York. I'm Hyman Roth. Mr. Roth. It's an honor. Happy birthday. Thank you. This is quite a country, isn't it? I think I'll move here from Florida once the deal is complete. Let Michael take care of things back home. Fredo, you having a good time? Hey, Dominic. Yeah, sure. I'm loving it here. Yeah, there's gonna be a big New Year celebration at midnight downstairs. Yeah, even the president's gonna be there. It's gonna be huge. I'll see you down there, right? Come on, do it as a favor for me. Cuba first. Well, which one are you again? My name is Dominic. I'm with Aldo Trapani from New York. See, si, that's right. I'm somewhere. Somewhere in Mangano. Hotel Vieto. I'm Rico. Rico Granados. And you would be? Dominic. I work for Aldo Trapani in New York. Ah, Michael Corleone's man. I know Trapani. Tried to bring him in on a land deal in Florida. He's a smart man. The property is under six fucking feet of swamp right now. Hola. Enjoy the fiesta. You all right? Michael wanted me to make sure that everything's set for tomorrow's meeting. Don't worry about it, Dominic. It's taken care of. I'm just anxious to get back to New York. I don't like it here. I don't trust what the president says, you know, about the rebels. I just want to get out of here. 
Come on, Aldo. You really think the rebels are going to be a problem? Yeah, I do. You know what I saw on my way over here? I saw a rebel being arrested. And instead of being taken alive, he exploded a grenade hidden in his jacket. Get the link. The president can control the violence. Don't let it bother you. He's just sitting on his ass while Cuba gets taken over. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Michael's giving him $2 million as a gift, so maybe he knows something I don't. Michael, Fredo, the countdown's about to start. Aldo, okay. is everything set for tomorrow's meeting? Of course, Michael, don't worry about it. Señores, señores. Isn't a part of this. 
Rick is right, Frank. The Rosado brothers always been angry. Ever since Clemenza died. No, no, that was no heart attack. In any case, that's the situation. We know they're running sanitation and construction, and we know Carmine's fixing fights. Yeah, of course, too. They got Rod's game, and they got Anna, junk, dope. I want them dead. Frank! Frank Pentangeli. You've been loyal to this family for years. I know, Michael. But after Cuba, my business with Hyman Roth is very important. These accusations aren't fair to him or me. Fair? You give your loyalty to him before your own blood? Come on, Frankie. You know my father did business with Hyman Roth. He respected him. Your father did business with Hyman Roth. Your father respected Hyman Roth. But your father never trusted Hyman Roth. Are you through? Good. Dominic, stay focused on the Rosado brothers. Carmine's weak. Always has been. Send them a message. Prove to me that I was right about you. Frank, I'm gonna take care of Carmine Rosado. Let me deal with him. Of course you will. You're the boss, and Carmine's just two guts. Couldn't find his ass if he was sitting on his two hands. But that stupid bum's got half of New York. Don't that tell you something? That someone's pulling his strings? Maybe. But whoever it is, it ain't Roth. And Carmine's men are still loyal to him. Well, loyalty counts. For something. Even with the Rosado brothers. It means something to me too, Frank. I can't take on Carmine by myself. I need people. People that I can trust. Do you have any loyal button men that I can enlist? Sure, Dominic. I drove here with a few associates. They're good men. They've all earned their bones. I think they're ready to be made. You'd be doing one of them an honor if you choose to bring them into your family. How come you don't work with the rest? Maybe it's because you want to work with the best. Yeah, I'm ready for something new. What do you need to know about me? What about your skills? What are you good at? Arson's my thing. I like to burn stuff. I'll burn anything. Burn down a cop station once if you can believe that. Anything weird I should know about you? I'm kind of like a good cheap wine. I get better with age, and I really pack a punch. We're gonna do some business? Welcome aboard. You're in. So let me ask you something. What Frank was saying earlier. Do you believe it? About Mr. Roth and the Rosados? Nah, Frank is a good enforcer, but he can't see things like Mike can. Mr. Roth's been good to us. Always has been. Well, I have a free spot in my family. I'll be back for you. Later. Know any good tricks of the trade? Not too many wise guys think about needing a medic. Until they take a bullet. I've had many happy customers. What's your deal? What should I know about you? In all the crews I've been in, I'm the Orel's guy. You can give the boss his money, or else you can give it to me, and I take a pound of flesh for my troubles. Maybe next time, when I have some shoes to fill, huh? I'll let you know if the heat shows. I don't have any room for you right now. Maybe later. Frank's a good man, but his temper can be a problem. These accusations about Hyman and Roth have to stop. They're insulting to us both. I'll keep an eye on him. Don't worry. Good. Dominic, just remember to stay focused. You're boss now. Make a name for yourself. Let Carmine know that you run New York. Organized crime is like any other profession. The key to success is crushing the competition. This is your goal. Take over every racket and every business. And eliminate any rival family that stands in your way. What's stopping you? The other families will ruthlessly defend their turf. And try to take back places that you control. You can't stop them by yourself. If you want to win, expand your family. And improve your crew member skills. And hire guards to protect your territory. And most importantly, learn to use the bonuses you'll earn from controlling crime rates. Do this. And you'll know what it means to be called Don. Hey, let's take a breather, okay? Keep our gunning for Dominic. We gotta keep our eyes peeled. We can knock off one of Carmine's rackets, it'll break his hold on the cops. Come on, it'll hurt the most. It's profits. The damn whorehouses are giving too much influence. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the cat house. The one put in by that face. Hey, slow down. Hey, hey. Now, cover me.
key to success is intimidation. A dead man is useless to us, but turn off the pressure and you'll have the upper hand. Everyone's got two points, the point they'll break and the point they'll fight back. Pressure a man past his breaking point and he'll do whatever you want. Getting there takes some creativity. Throw him around maybe, show him the view. And with some men, the more you push them, the more you profit. Or you can find a weak spot. Everyone's got one. Push someone too far though, and you'll have a fight in your hands. Or worse, a dead body. But this isn't the end of the world. You can leave and try again later. Stop right there. Turn up the pressure, Dominic. You're gonna let me through, will you? No way! You ain't getting in here! Let me in, before I really lose my temper. They'll know this joint's private! Let me through. Look, I am gonna cut a permanent smile on that pretty face of yours. No way! You ain't getting in here! I'm really sorry about that. That was expensive. Stop the listening to that door! It'll break his hold on the cops. Some shit back there, Dominic. Control gives you a bonus to your entire income. To get a merchant to play along, you gotta pressure him. Slam him into a wall, throw him through a window. Maybe smash up a store, or rough up his customers. Sometimes you have to show him who's boss. Just remember, it's only business. In this life, there's nothing more important than family. Whenever you have the chance to expand your family, consider what specialties you might need. Arsonists and demolitions experts are your firepower guys. One will burn the place up, the other will bring it down. Bruisers are your muscle. They can take out guards and intimidate any nosy witnesses. Safe crackers and engineers are your keys to the city. Whether it's picking locks or cutting down fences, these guys get you in. And don't forget about medics. They'll keep you and your crew alive during the fight. Promoting a soldier to capo is our way of recognizing a man's loyalty and hard work. A capo is stronger than a soldier, and he can learn an additional specialty too. Associates who want to join your family can be found in any business that you control. So it's a good idea to revisit a place after you take it over. But keep your eyes peeled. Sometimes the best man can be found where you least expect it. Each crime when you control gets you one step closer to the top. More importantly, you receive a bonus, like armored vehicles or brass levels. But if you lose just one racket in the crime rate, that bonus is gone. To keep a place from falling, you can pay men to guard it. You can also send a family member there for defense. A made man is as strong as several guards, but while he's away, he can't be part of your crew. Of course, what goes for you goes for your enemies. If they have a bonus that's making your life miserable, taking one of their rackets will make them lose. And if you don't have the manpower to take over a racket, try bombing it instead. A bomb will temporarily close a racket and break the family's bonus. Finally, keep an eye on how many guards your enemies are using. Strike them when they're weakest. Think ahead, plan your actions, and your family will stay alive. One thing is certain in our life. At some point, you're gonna have to deal with the law. Violence on the streets creates a crime scene, and before you know it, the city's finest will be there, looking for a perp. If a witness points you out to the cops, well, 
you know what happens then. So what do you do? You deal with the witness before the cops appear. And if he doesn't want to take the bribe, rough him up a little. Here's my advice. Do business with the police before trouble starts. Find a cop who looks like he'll take a bribe and grease his palms. Shouldn't be hard. Everybody has a price. After bribing an officer, every cop in town will leave you alone for a short time, letting you get back to the business at hand. To get to a dog, you have to get to his main net. Finding these guys isn't easy. You'll have to hit the streets first. Stop asking around. If somebody knows something, offer to do him a favor. When the favor's done, use the family tree to see what kind of intel you've earned. This information tells you where these guys are and the best way to kill them. The kill condition is key. Just shooting a guy's not going to shake up a family. You've got to send them a message. Each guy needs to be killed in a particular way. If you miss, he'll be out of commission for a while, but he'll be back eventually. Do it the right way, though, and it'll be history. Eliminating a made man is good for business. Remember, just like your family, these guys can be sent to defend our tight businesses. Take them out, and your life will be much easier. Eliminating a rival family means one thing, war. You'll never succeed until you kill a family's dog, and you'll never get to him until you take over all his businesses. But just randomly targeting rackets and fronts won't get you very far. Instead, find a strategy. Build your family, upgrade your men, and guard your businesses. Take over places that are weakly defended, or they have no made men guarding them. Bomb businesses to break up your rival's crime rings. And if a made man is giving you problems, then maybe you should return the favor. When a family has no businesses left, they'll retreat to the compound. That's where you want to make your move. The compounds have many ways in, so keep an eye out for places to use your crew's specialties. But be sure to bring a demolition expert. The only way to guarantee that a family's finished is to completely destroy the compound. Exchanging favors with an ordinary man is one thing. But having a judge, DA, or police chief in your pocket means you have influence. Get a union boss on your side, and he can order his men to rebuild the bomb business. Some people can spin your men from prison or a hospital, call up the police when they're on your tail, or even put a rival family member behind bars for a while with a sting. The best thing about these favors is that they can be called in at any time. It pays to have friends in high places. To make it in this life, you'll have to invest. Not just in your businesses, but your family. Whenever you can, check what new skills you and your men can learn. Some skills improve your fighting, and some your aim. Finally, remember that any weapon you find can be purchased for your family as well. Give your men the right hardware, and they'll get the job done. Follow me. Move my way. 